Hi everyone, it's Otusa again. I wanted to give you some more exercises and things you can do while you're social distancing yourself and there's still a lot of anxiety and stress going on. As I mentioned before, one of the best things is to watch comedies, dance, move, have fun, be silly and um, try to stay away from the news as much as you can. If you can, just not watch the news at all, that's perfect. And even on your social media, if you can, um, sort of either not spend too much time on there or clean your feed so that you're only seeing things that are happy and positive to make you feel better during this time. Um, I wanted to give you a meditation exercise. It's a grounding meditation that I give a lot of my clients that helps them. It's a um, tree meditation. Some of you may do a var variation of it or exactly like the way I'm teaching it, but either way, have fun with it. Um, before we get started on this meditation, I just want to move the body a little bit to shake things out. Um, it's a good idea if you, before a meditation, to just loosen up everything, get things moving, um, because it makes it easier for you to ground your energy. So there are two ways you can um, do the shaking of the energy, sort of. One is just literally loosening up, closing your eyes, uh, loosening the neck, the head, the shoulder, arms, your knees, your hips, and just sort of have this nice bounce and you can either get the bounce um, bigger or smaller, however you feel. Um, for a lot of people that do have issues in their joints, this must, might not feel good or especially if you have issues in your knees, I don't recommend doing that. Um, another way to do it is just Loosen your neck and head and just really let your arm loose. Um, so that's a variation to that. But um, one of the other best ways to move the energy is by just um, tapping the body, waking it up. I don't know when I was growing up, um, we used to, they make us do exercises outside that, you know, you sort of like stretched and move the body. And um, so this is sort of like that. So um, you just want to either cup your hand or use your fingers and you want to go ahead and um, sort of tap the body. You're telling the body, wake up, wake up, shake the energy. So um, you can start with the um, hands if you want, um, either side, and then just spend some time at the wrist, move up, go around the elbows. Um, Come up to the shoulders, go around the shoulders, and we're going to come down on the side, and come up again, and go under the armpits, spend some time around the armpits because that's the area we hold a lot of energy, and there's a lot of lymph nodes, so go around. And come again. And come up the other arm. Again, spending some time around the elbows. And come up, spend some time around the shoulders. Coming down. And going around the armpits. Now coming to the chest. Spend some time on the chest just because, again, that's another area that we hold a lot of tightness and you can just, even if you like, uh, you know, when we were kids, we used to play Tarzan and Jane and like, you know, feel like, ah, you want to scream. So that's another way to get the energy moving in the throat chakra. And once you're done with that, you can come to the solar plexus. Again, if you have a lot of anxiety, you're holding a lot of energy in this area, 
and it might actually be painful as you're doing this so you don't want to tap it too hard just you can tap it lightly with the fingernails instead of your complete hand but just go all the way around and go all the way around on your stomach tapping it and then you come to the hip area go around the hips and you're gonna go down the legs spending some time on your knees sending some loving energy to the knees And going down the ankles, top of the feet, and coming back up. Again, spend some time on the knees, coming up from the back of the leg. And come forward again, come back up, and then coming to the neck. Spend some time around the neck. Back of the neck, back of the head, and then going around the ears. And again, with your fingertips, you just want to tap all over the head. Make sure you spend a good time on the head. And um, right now, since we're trying not to touch our face, um, I'll skip the next step, but usually I also have you uh, tap on around the eyes, around the sinus areas, the jaw, because again, with the jaw, um, we're holding a lot of stress. If you just wash your hands and they're clean and you want to, you feel comfortable doing that, just go ahead and sort of go around on the forehead, sinus areas, and then the jaw bones again because we hold a lot of stress there. And once you're done, just... And you just wanna send that energy to the ground. And standing there, take a couple of deep breaths. Bringing your attention to your feet, the bottom of your feet. Feel it touching the ground. Again, it's best to do this with bare feet or socks, but no shoes. If you can, if not, it's okay. And now you want to imagine two light beams from the soles of your feet, in the middle of your feet, two light cylinders going down as far as you can let them go down deep in the earth just imagine it going down 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 and when it's nice and deep in the middle of the earth in the middle of the soil you're gonna let this light beam Turn into roots, allow the roots to get nice, big and strong. And once you have nice big roots from your feet down into the soil, deep into the earth, see your nice strong roots. And you want to see your trunk, which is from your feet to your waist. Feel your nice, strong trunk of your tree. Feel the roots deep into the ground. And when you're ready, your torso, your arms, your neck and your head, shoulders, they're all part of your tree branches and the leaves. At this point, you can either let the arms hang down, or if the arms feel like they wanna move, you can allow them to move. Or if you feel to move your arms, 
You can move them any way you want. Feel the wind in your branches and the leaves. Feel the roots connected in the soil to the other trees and the forest. Allow the birds to move around you and be with you. Just enjoy. Feel how well grounded you are and the soil connected to everything. The wind is playing. The birds are playing with you. And just lift your body in your hands. Move. And have fun. Feeling the wind. And when you're ready, you can bring your attention back the trunk of the tree, bringing the arms next to you, feel your strength, feel your roots grounded in the earth, and when you're ready, take all the deep breaths. I moved through it um, quickly, but you can do this as long or as little as you want. The most important part of this is to feel the roots, feel the connectedness, feeling the ground, feeling your own strength coming up from the ground up. And again, having fun, really just enjoy having fun. Imagine a tree, how would it feel like, you know, with the wind and the um, birds around you? So have fun, enjoy, and um, practice it as often as you can. It's good to do it at least once or twice a day. Let me know how it goes if you like. Um, comment on the video or send me a text, send me a DM. Thank you guys. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.